I'm not the type of person to pay for unlimited mobile data plans, so knowing which apps are using it a lot can help prevent me from running out before the end of the month. So if you're worried about mobile data usage, then I can show you a couple of great ways to prevent apps from chewing through your allotment while they are in the background. The first method that I want to point out is going to help those who know which apps are using the mobile data the most. So you can dive into the info page for an app by performing a long press gesture and then looking for the little eye icon. But you could also launch the settings application, scroll through this list until you find the apps page, and then finding the app that you want to control in this list here. Either way, once you get to the app info page, you should then see a mobile data option somewhere in this list. So let's tap into here and you're going to see some details about how much total data the application has used, how much of it happened while it's in the foreground, and how much of it has happened while it is in the background. There will also be two toggles here. One that allows you to block mobile data usage while the app is in the background, and the other will allow the application to always use mobile data in the background, even when the data saver feature is enabled. So we just need to focus on this first toggle here. These are going to be enabled by default, so you'll want to go in and disable this feature for all of the apps that you know are using mobile data in the background the most. So disabling this toggle is great for those data hungry applications that constantly want to send and receive information for various tasks. I have personally found that Google's apps are the heaviest of offenders in this area, but your experience may vary. On the other hand, if you're just not sure of which apps are using the most of your mobile data while they are in the background, then the built-in data saver feature is what you'll want to look for. Once enabled, Android's data saver feature will block most apps from using your mobile data while they are in the background. Those apps will only be able to send or receive data via Wi-Fi when this feature is enabled, although the apps could then begin to use your cellular data when you launch them since they are in the foreground. However, once you minimize the app, it will go back to not being able to use your mobile data since they are then in the background. And most people will be able to find this toggle within the quick settings panel. So swipe down from the top of the screen twice and look through your quick settings tiles. If you don't see it on the first page, you may be able to find that data saver feature on the second page. Now, if you still can't find it, it may just not be active. So look for the pencil icon so that you can edit your quick settings tiles and then begin looking for the data saver feature from this list. And then you'll need to drag and hold that feature from the inactive area to your active slot. Alternatively, you could also look for this feature in the settings application itself. It is typically located in the network section, but it's almost always easier to find by performing a search in the top. So just search for the word data saver and you should see it in this list. Once you find it, locate the toggle and then enable it so that applications in the background will no longer be able to use your mobile data. With that said, this restriction can be limited to mostly third-party apps. So some pre-installed applications from Google, for example, the Google Play Services app, will still be able to use your mobile data 
while it's in the background. So keep that in mind and watch the mobile data usage section from within the settings application if you're still noticing an issue here. Now it's never a good day when you find that you've hit your data cap for the month. In time, we could see wireless carriers move away from these limitations, just like we saw with limits for texting and how many minutes you can talk each month. But for now, many of us will continue to be on a budget and keeping the hundreds of apps that we have on our phones in check is a great way to prevent any surprises like this. Please share your stories of how you ran out of mobile data at the most inopportune time down in the comment section below. And if you don't mind, be sure to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android tips like this.